Oh yeah guys, what do we have today? 2019 Honda Clarity, it's a plug-in. And, what am I doing? I am replacing the onboard charger that's sitting on my bench. I think it's really heavy actually. It's got coolant running into it and then just a couple plugs. So, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect the uh, 12 volt battery. And then we're gonna remove the back seat and uh, disconnect the service plug. I think it's underneath the seat. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. And by the way, if you're wondering how many kilometers. Uh, 31,000 kilometers. So I think that's about hmm, 20,000 miles, I think. There's, there's one person that always asks. <laughs> so around, around 20,000 miles. Oh, got got ahead of myself. Got to make sure I can pop the trunk first. <laughs> I start moving stuff out of the way off the seat. Because what do you do in this situation, eh? You know, like all these kids' toys that are laying on the seat. And especially when you need to remove it. I'll, I'll throw this this thing on the in the back, I guess. Oh, never mind. Ten mil bolt is just uh, right here. That's the one you need to take out. It's uh, actually in the middle center seat. So if you're looking from where I'm standing, it's just right below here. So just remove that ten mil. And then there should be a clip, a clip on the bottom side here, and then a clip on this side. So let me remove that 10 mil, 10 mil bolt. So once you remove that bolt, you just gotta feel around underneath the seat. You just gotta put your fingers in there. You'll feel a little plastic thing, right? And then you just pull, and then it releases it. So that's the uh, that's the bracket that it's clipped into. Uh, let me get the seat out first, and then I'll show you. I'll get the other side. Pull this side too. There should be a little plastic clip. And it pops right out. And that's the uh, seat removed. Pretty simple. Uh, so yeah, here's the uh, the thing. You just pull and then it releases the uh, clip off that hook over there on the seat cushion. Now I can remove the seat and then uh, yeah, we can go and disconnect the service plug. All right, so once you remove the first cover, which is that big, big round one, and then uh, then you got to remove this uh, cover with the warning on it, and then it reveals your uh, your service plugs. So how you remove it is you remove this one first, right? Pull up, I believe. There you go. Put put the air, put that somewhere safe. Pull up on the other one, and that's the other one. So, uh, once we're all done, uh, we're gonna have to bleed the cooling system on uh, on this. So you see this little nipple here? That's where you uh, bleed the air out of the cooling system. Uh, it's a pretty bad spot because guess what the uh, what it's beside, right? You know, in case coolant gets into this area, and uh, you know what I mean. So, anyways, just thought I'd show you that because you do have to fill it up with coolant and then bleed it. Um, yeah, that's where you bleed it. So let's uh, let's go underneath and start removing some plastic, and then we're gonna remove that uh, onboard charger. All right, so I'm uh, in the back here. I just want to show you where this charger is. Uh, you see all your high voltage cable. This is your rear rear wheels. Here's your uh, here's your muffler for the exhaust. We're gonna have to remove this too, um, but it sits right there. You see the the cables, and then this cooling line that goes up into it. That's where it is. So what we gotta do is, we're gonna have to remove this thing. Uh, I guess this is a brace. Uh, once we remove it, we think we have to remove these, this plastic here too. Uh, Cause I think this whole thing comes out. And then uh, this muffler, it just disconnects from here. So you gotta take that out. And then once that's out, I gotta have to remove this heat shield. And I think that's uh, pretty much it. Also, we, gotta, we also gotta drain the coolant out of it too. Because uh, it is cooled by uh, coolant. I wonder, is that, is that coolant leaking out of it? 
Hmm. Or is that just corrosion? Might just be corrosion or coolant. Might be an issue. Uh, that's that's green and that's that's kind of blue over there. I think that just might be corrosion. We'll find out. Cause it looks like it's, it looks like the same thing on that that bracket over there too. But anyways, I'm gonna get started, start removing stuff, and then I'll bring you back once I uh, get at that charger up there. Okay, so I uh, removed all the stuff that I need to remove, uh, but now I get to show you uh, some some cool stuff. Uh, this here is aluminum. This over here is your gas tank, and it's you know here's the size of my hand, and here's the size of the gas tank. It's pretty small, and then here's your charcoal canister. Uh, the charcoal canister is gonna stay in. Uh, stay up there. I just got to unbolt it. I'm gonna take this uh, I guess this brace or frame or whatever and then uh, take it out with this uh, uh, Charger uh, I'll disconnect the coolant lines disconnect the high voltage lines from this I think there's another one over here. This is a small small connector uh, But yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, it's a it's a very small fuel tank right and the filler neck just goes right to it there is also an access hole for uh, for if you want to replace the fuel pump right in there. Oh, let me get you some light. Yeah, there you go. That's, there's an access to get to the top of the fuel pump. So, yeah, small small fuel tank, not very big. Uh, so yeah, that's your uh, Honda Clarity here. But anyways, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna start removing this. Hopefully these uh, these bolts for these charcoal canister don't don't break, uh, and I can get these out easy. Uh, but yeah, I'll bring you back. Alright, so I got the charger on the bench. Um, it's just going to be transferring, or taking this off. It's only held in by like, I think four, four, four bolts. Like one here, one over there, there, and then uh, that one over there. And then we're just going to transfer over the hoses onto the uh, new one. So I'm going to take this off, put that one on, and then uh, yeah, everything else is just reverse order. So I'll bring you back once I need to fill up the coolant, put everything back together, and then I'll stick it in the charger, see if it charges. All right, so I put everything back together. Um, I haven't hooked up the battery yet, but I am topping up with coolant. Uh, this thing, uh, it just takes regular Honda Type 2 coolant. So it's nothing special. You don't have to put in like low conductivity coolant or something like that. Uh, it just takes regular Honda coolant, uh, Honda Type 2. Um, but other than that, uh, hook up the battery and then uh, hook up the scanner. And then we're gonna do the air bleed for the uh, EV side of the uh, cooling system. So yeah, I'm just gonna yeah, go ahead and do that. We'll finish bleeding the cooling system here. Uh, I got it plugged into our level two charger that we have connected to the wall. Uh, we are at three bars. I think it was two bars before, but three bars. So come back in like half an hour and see how much of a charge we get. See how we're doing here. It's been half an hour. Okay, almost half. Okay, so we are charging. All right, so I can finish this car and kick it out.